Welcome to episode 370 of Trent 365. Today is Wednesday the 5th of December. I got a note yesterday about the upcoming launch of the UK Sustainable Spa Association. And I was asked to complete a survey, which I did. But of course, me being me, I also had to reach out to the person who sent it to me and share my thoughts on it. And my thoughts are this. I love the idea of sustainability. I'm all for it. And, you know, I think a sustainability association as such makes perfect sense. What I worry about though is once we start setting up a spa association just for sustainability, I wonder if in fact that is sustainable. You know, the idea of creating splinter spa associations that are maybe specialised in certain areas, I just don't think that works. Uh, I I wrote about it before in one of my blogs, I think it's on episode 75 of the Inside the Spa Business Show, my thoughts on spa associations generally and some of the issues and challenges they face. So. I just wanted to add it to the the commentary today to the discussion. I also wanted to share a link which I'll put here for the UK Sustainable Spa Association for those that want to go and check it out because I think it's important that you at least have a look at the information they have available. Um, My concern is, uh, look, what I would much rather see is this become an element or a division of a a national spa association for the UK, which of course they have, at least one, the UK Spa Association is there. And again, I have no idea about the, 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 any agendas between the two organisations. I have no idea about the people involved. I'm just saying from the outside of looking in, to me to have a separate association for sustainability doesn't make sense just for spas. Put it under the UK Spa Association or a national spa association for the UK. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what yours are. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back again tomorrow. See ya. Enough is hard to do.